Welcome to Unit Circle Survival Guide. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the first quadrant of the unit circle. And this quadrant is so important because if you know about reference angles and you also know which trig functions are positive in each quadrant, all you need to know then is the first quadrant information and you can find any exact value you need. So let's take a look at the first quadrant. We want to be sure we can label the angles in both degrees and radians and we want to also make sure we can label the coordinates. So let's start with the degrees. Of course, if you don't rotate at all, you have zero degrees. The next major angle, special angle of the unit circle is 30, then 45, then 60, then 90. When labeling in radians, we count zero, pi over six, pi over four, pi over three, and pi over two. So in the video description, I'll post links that go into much greater detail about the patterns you can use to labeling the unit circle angles in degrees and in radians. But once you've done it enough, you will just be able to list as we've done here. And finally, we can make sure to label the coordinates. So of course we know that the unit circle is centered at the origin, so at zero, zero, and the radius is one. So it's easy, very, very easy to label the coordinates that are considered quadrantals or angles formed on the axes. So if we move from the origin right one unit, of course that point is one zero. And if we moved up one unit, of course that point is zero one. The other three coordinates are labeled using our special right triangle properties. Um, I will post links to those uh, videos of more explanation as well. Um, but for right now, it's enough to say that those are formed from the 30, 60, 90 triangle and the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So let's go ahead and label the coordinates for the 30 degree angle or the pi over six angle. And that comes from a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So just sketching it in right here. And so you can see that the horizontal leg is longer than the vertical leg. To get the specific values, you can um, watch the video on the 30, 60, 90 triangle. But once you've seen how that works, you should know that the longer leg is labeled the square root of 3 over 2, but that's about 0.87 as a decimal, and the shorter leg is 1 half. Moving on to the next angle, either 45 degrees or pi over 4 radians, here's that right triangle and the values that we're going to use come from the 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. So check that video out if you want to see exactly where these values come from. But once you've seen it, you will know these leg lengths are equal and they are a value of root two over two, each of them. And that's about 0.7 as a decimal. And so it does make sense that this specifically looking at the horizontal leg for the 30 degree angle, the horizontal leg is a little bit longer than the leg for the 45 degree triangle. And finally, we have the 60 degree angle or the pi over three radian angle. And that comes from the 60, 30, 90 triangle. This is the shortest of the horizontal legs. So it makes sense that the X coordinate will be the one half and the Y coordinate will be square root of three over two. And again, check out that video if you're interested in how we got these exact um, numbers for the coordinates. So this was your quick refresher on all the information for the first quadrant of the unit circle. And this will be absolutely essential to being able to quickly find exact values. Um, I'll post some videos about finding exact values uh, in the next few weeks. So thanks so much for watching. Check out the links in the video description. Good luck with learning your unit circle.